How's it going guys? It's me again. So today we're gonna be taking the diff out of the Miata. Now, I've been having issues with the Miata at the track a couple times with, I'll be going around a corner, it's going fine when I'm turning, taking a left turn. When I go to switch to the right turn, it's like the diff won't, it, it's like it's open. It's not locking up like it should. And then midway to the turn, it locks and it causes me to spin out. So we know that the diff is worn out. It's been raced before. It really needs some help. So we're gonna take it out today, and then maybe on the next weekend, we can weld it and get it ready to go back into the Miata and get ready for some skids for this 2018 season of Lone Star Drift. Um, the next event we have coming up is Club Loose. That's on March 18th. And then March 31st through April 1st is Lone Star Drift out in Lamarck, Texas near Houston. So that's really the one I'm trying to make more than anything else. Uh, if we go to Club Loose, we might just take the RX-7 or something like that. But, uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Now, I know she looks sad because she's got all this stuff all over her. She's got junk up here. She had a trash bag up here. She's got all this. And uh, yeah, so she's kind of being used as a storage unit. Um, soon, she'll be ready to do some mad skids again. So let's get started. Guys, it's also like cold as shit here in Texas. It's like 37 degrees, which for us is a, like really low. <laughs> so I mean, I'm all bundled up. I got like two layers on. So uh, if I complain about the cold, you know why. Okay guys, so here we are. We're under the Miata right now, and I'm trying to see what I gotta take out to get the diff out. Um, I don't have an exhaust back here. Normally the exhaust would run all the way from the front back to here, and the muffler would be under this heat shield. However, because I was running hood exit, I have none of that to take out. Uh, normally, when you have to take that out, it's just a couple bolts here and there, and the exhaust hangers. So now, it looks like all I'm gonna have to take out is unbolt the drive shaft up here. And then unbolt the bolts from the power plant frame, or power plant, uh, like a torque arm looking thing. I can't remember the word for it. Then remove the bolts for the axles. And then finally, up at the top, remove these two little bolts right here. And then the one big bolt in the middle. And this whole unit should just drop down. Make sure you have a jack under there to help support it. And then we can take that out and get to welding. Okay guys, so I'm going to start by removing the drive shaft. This bolt on this side is a 12, and on here it's a 14. So I'm going to use a 14 socket and a 12 inch wrench, you know, 12 millimeter wrench, sorry about that, to help get these out. Now make sure the car's in gear so that the drive shaft doesn't try to move when you're trying to rotate the bolt. going to be a pain in the ass, but you got to do what you got to do. Already? Ugh. Remember guys, eyesight is cool. Let's try to keep it that way. Oh, there we go. It's harder to see when you got sunglasses on than safety glasses. Okay, as you can see now we got the drive shaft out. Um, you wanna make sure that it does not come out of the transmission all the way up there because if it does, it will leak transmission fluid everywhere. We wanna keep this down here or rest it on a jack or extra jack stand. Uh, that's actually what I'm gonna do in a second. Just to make sure that that doesn't happen. Okay, as you can see now, I have my drive shaft resting up on a jack stand. That jack stand is pinching apart that part of the car and holding the drive shaft in place. Therefore, it will not come out of the transmission and cause a huge spill and a major headache. Okay, so for the next step, I think I'm gonna take out the axles actually. So I'm gonna remove these four bolts. Come on camera, focus. I'm gonna remove those four bolts and uh, on both sides, take the axles, let them drop on down. And then after that, I'm gonna remove the power plant frame thing. I really need to figure out the name for that. And yeah, let's go. I'm a genius. Just had to undo the e-brake. Glad I got my glasses on. Safety first, lads. Safety first. There's so much junk under here from over the years. I'd love to do like a full like on like wash of this car where it gets like super clean underneath and it looks like brand new. That'd be sweet. That costs a lot of money and time. I gotta get running right. Before anything else. But I do want to make a makeover of this soon. Get a new front fender. 
get a new hood that doesn't have a giant hole in it. And then, like, put a livery or something. Oh yeah, paint it or plastic dip it or wrap it, something. Then put a livery, like, of our colors on it. Match the RX-7 to it. You know, we got all these cool ideas, but money costs so much. Like, it's so, uh, money costs so much. It's so hard to come by nowadays. Especially being in college. It does not help. But I'm putting what I can towards this car. And yeah. Oh fuck. What, what the hell? What the hell is that? Okay guys, that's what an axle is supposed to look like. With that little cover in there. This one, however, is coming off. So I'm gonna have to hammer that back on so that it stops doing that. That's not good. I think it's just the seal. I'm gonna try to hammer it. If that doesn't work, I might need a new one. Good as new. Look at that. All right, moving on now. Okay guys, so it actually is called a power plant frame. I'm not crazy. And now we're gonna take off these two bolts and then hopefully lower this down. Uh, actually, we're gonna put it on a jack to make sure it doesn't fall all the way down and bend any, uh, there's connectors all up and down of it. And we don't want those ripping off. So let me get a jack stand for that too. But we're breaking out the big guns for this one, homies. More whenever it's time. It's a 17 millimeter bolt, by the way. And they're long as shit. I gotta say, I love impact wrenches. There we go. Woo! Out of the two, uh, yeah, it's a little shorter, fatter, goes in the front, long skinny in the back. Okay, so the next step here is to remove these two bolts and then the main bolt in here. And then also, while you're doing this, make sure you have supported your differential with the jack. That way that when you lower it, you can just pull it out and it stays up there and it doesn't just fall out randomly or rip off of your power plant frame. So just be careful with that. So the little ones are 12s, the big ones are 17. One. And now we try to take the diff out. Hopefully it comes out. I think I'm having trouble getting it out of the power plant frame. Let me go check it out. Just move the jack out. I don't even need it. Okay, so we got the diff out now. Um, I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna undo the drain, drain out all the fluid, and then once you get done doing that, you crack these bolts back here, take this part off, that's your differential, and uh, what we're gonna have to do is either clean it out with probably some purple power and such, and or you can also burn out the oil. You just gotta watch it because it's gonna be on fire. But you have to do that, make sure it's clean before you do any of the welding. That's probably going to be done on a different day. My whole goal was to get this out, and it just happened to not take as long as I thought. But also, check your diff bushings while you're here if they're good. Keep them. If not, and you want to upgrade, go ahead, put some solid ones in there. They're like 70 bucks. But me personally, mine look fine, so I'm going to just stick with those. And uh, yeah, so I think I might start taking this apart. All right, well, uh, I'm going to try to drain this diff and uh, get all the oil out of there, and then I can crack it open. That was quick. So a 24 on the bottom, and a 23 for the fill plug. Uh, let's see how this looks. I'm sure it's not gonna look too pretty. You can kinda see some of the metal material in there too. Okay, 
That's always great. So your boy's a dumbass. You gotta take out these first. Fine. Okay, there's one. There we go. Okay. Now this should just... Like that. That's what's supposed to happen. Alright. Alright, so I clean these up. I mean, inside here is really clean actually. So I mean, like, it looks way better than it before. I started to clean this up a little bit. I don't have any brake parts cleaner, so I'm gonna have to get some of that and really get in there. Because can't weld it while it's still dirty. But that's another day. Alright guys, so that was part one of the Miata differential weld video. Uh, I'm going to try to do it in like a two-part series real quick. Um, that was all just removal, getting it ready for welding. Now I got to use some brake parts cleaner, use a blowtorch, get all that excess oil off, and then we got to weld it, and then we got to put it back together and put it back in the car. Now that should be able to be done on a Saturday next week when I have more time to be able to do it. I got too many projects coming up for school. Uh, that are going to get in the way that I have to finish today because they're due tomorrow. So, hope to see you guys next time. Getting it all done. Can't wait to get the Miata doing some mad skids again. Hopefully we don't have any more issues after this. And we're ready for the 2018 season. And uh, we're going to have a good time. Can't wait to see you guys in Houston. Later. I'm so happy watching my mesmerized body